Hey guys, this is Michael Cheek again. Um, this video I'm going to do now is over Interstate Love Song by uh, the Stone Temple Pilots. I happen to be a fan of the Stone Temple Pilots, so hopefully enough of you out there um, like them too to get uh, make this video worth it. But um, I'm going to have fun teaching it because I like the song. So um, again, to start off with, if you're wanting more songs from me, um, special requests, or if you want to go to the website to check out uh, more videos, um, my email address is feedback, down here, feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com, or you can go to the website, www.mikesguitarlessons.com, and find a ton of information there on how to contact me, or uh, look to sign up for, you know, all these part twos and threes of all these videos. Um, the website's under construction right now, but um, pretty soon we're going to have it up and running, we're putting new videos up every day, and uh, I'm going to open it once it's satisfactory to where I feel like I've got enough videos up there to make it worth it. So um, let's start off with this song. Um, if y'all don't know what the song is, I'm going to play it real quick. Okay? So I'm uh, just going to play a few seconds. We're going to do the intro here now. I think we are. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Okay, that's the intro. Um, let's get started learning it. Um, there's several parts to the intro. There are the chords. There's the first uh, intro lead part, which is kind of slow, but and then you've got the uh, last riff that's in there, and I'll show you that. So um, that first part, the part that goes like this. Uh, fourth note uh, here. I like the way it sounds, but it's actually not in there. Um, so let's actually go ahead and start with that one. Um, so you're going to start off with uh, the fourth fret on the G string and slide to the sixth fret on the G string. Okay? Use whatever finger you want to, really. I like second or third, but play that note. Then go back to the fourth fret on the G string again, play that note again, then play it one more time, and slide to the 6th fret on the G. Okay? I'm going to move this camera a little bit so you can actually see my hands strumming the chords too. Okay. Yeah, this will help. So, we've, so far we've got... So after you slide up to that 6th fret, you just slide right back down to the 4th fret. Okay? Now, uh, I'm trying to adjust this so you can see what fret I'm on too. Okay, there we go. So, after you play this, 4th fret on the G to 6th fret, and then 4, and 4 again, slide to 6, and then don't pluck again, just slide back to 4th uh, fret, and then at 6th fret, on the D string. Okay? Then on the next chord change, you go to the second fret on the D string, slide and play that note and slide up to the fourth fret on the D string. And slide it right back without plucking it again. So to the second fret on the D string. Okay, so what we've got so far is We've got uh, fourth fret on the D string, and you're going to slide it to 
to the sixth fret. So, oh, I'm sorry, you play that note before you slide it. Play fourth fret on the D string, and pluck it again and slide it to the sixth fret on the D string. And then uh, fifth fret on the G string. Okay, so. Okay, then we're going to go to eighth fret on the G string. So come all the way up here. Pluck that note once, and then pluck it again and bend it up and down. You don't have to bend it very far, just that much. So, and then sixth fret on the G string. Now, it actually ends there, but the last chord is an E, and I like to hit this fourth fret on the G string to match that E. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll try to play along with it here. I just relearned it, so it might be a little shaky, but why don't we give it a shot? up one time, but that was uh, basically how you lay that solo in, in there along with the song. Now, I think I can probably get in this part. Or, it does that twice. Um, now, let's go ahead and, and uh, get that worked out. I'm going to point you towards my uh, the end of the neck here. And I'm just going to show you where I'm plucking on the strings up here, but normally you'll play it down by the pickup, so don't worry about strumming it up here. I just want you to see me pluck the strings, okay? Now, um, you're going to start off with your... Uh, I like to have both these fingers here to help bend the notes when I need to bend them, but uh, you're going to play the second fret of the B string and open on the E string, okay? You're going to pluck them both and slide just the B string up to the 3rd fret. Okay? And then come back to the 2nd fret and pluck the same notes again, but bend the B string up and down. And then play them both open, B and E open. Okay, so it's... Don't get fooled by my first finger being back here. It's just right behind my second finger. I like to use it to help help control the string. So. Okay. Then it's uh, second fret on the G string. Then open on the E string. Then first on the G string. Second fret on the G string. Open on the B and open on the E. Okay, so all that together was. Okay, then we go to an E chord. If you don't know what an E chord is, it's uh, open on the low E string. Second with your use your middle finger, uh, but it's second fret on the A string. Then you take your third finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. Then take your first finger and put it on the first fret of the G string. And every string, all the other strings are open, and you do play them. So you strum every string. So after you do this riff. I did is touch the strings and then two more strums. So okay, and then I keep that chord down and then I go. So I suspended that chord. So what you do is uh, first time you strum the chord, you go. Then you strum the chord twice again. 
put your pinky in the second fret of the G string. That'll be in front of this first finger. Strum it twice, and then pick your pinky back up. Strum it normal E again. So the whole thing together is. Oops, sorry, I screwed that up. Let's do it again. two times in a row and that's the intro besides the chords which I'll do in another video so um, I hope you uh, enjoy